Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome to another episode of Padge Plays YOLO Edition. And this time around, we are playing with the game UFO, or unfortunately, Fortunate Organisms. Now, in practice, I may have said orgasms a few times and had to keep pressing the record button, but hey ho, we'll let it slide, we'll edit it in post, no one will be none the wiser. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> don't ever try and say it quickly it is it is a difficult one anyway this popped up on steam about two weeks ago and it was dirt cheap so i thought it looked pretty cool we'll give it a whirl what have i got to lose i could at least get one episode out of it and i ended up really enjoying it it's a unity game so straight away you think oh unity but they've actually done a pretty good job it's a, a relatively short game i think you can knock out a session in, in between 45 minutes to an hour depending on how you get on so i thought we'd we'd have have a playthrough and get a few episodes out of it and if you like it i'll put a link down below and, and you can check it out for yourself but as it stands right now i think it's like one pound 59 for me so it's gonna be dirt cheap for everyone else as well so uh yeah it's definitely worth checking out but anyway here i am talking about it trying to get you to buy it i haven't even told you about it basically you are a alien you drive a classic style of ufo you know the the the, the swirly spinny style and uh, you've got 30 days to gather enough resources to be able to do up your spaceship to take on this big other alien, nasty alien, who's taken over your home world. It's building a big machine and is going to destroy it within, well, 30 days. So you, you need to go to other planets, harvest the people who live on that planet, and uh, get back to uh, the uh, the space and then upgrade your, your, your UFO with their bits, basically. You, you're going to put them down into into mulch mash them all up and then I, i'm guessing it's got something to do with the blood or, or the or the you know the biofuel that's within these people's bodies i don't want to say human because then they're not being plucked off planet earth but they do look human and like any planet where people are regularly being beamed away uh, they're not too happy about it so they in turn tend to shoot at you a lot and uh, yeah you've got 30 days to get a, your ufo as best as you can before the big baddie comes along and you have to take him on and depending on how well you've upgraded yourself well it depends on whether you you win or lose really uh, i haven't actually been able to complete this game the, the final boss is rock solid but uh hey ho hopefully you'll see that we'll get to that point so let's crack on shall we new game oh i do love the uh, the mouse controller and the little pincers they'll come in useful later you'll see you'll see uh now would i like to use tutorials now i i've only played this twice uh, and uh, it's quite good how the tutorial actually breaks up what you're doing without actually holding your hand. It just tells you what to do and you've got to get on with it. So we'll do that. We'll do, we'll do the tutorial. Our sensors have picked up an anomaly on a nearby planet. That's my alien voice if you haven't guessed already. And there's the big boss man. The evil galactic warlord Christos. He appears to be building some sort of weapon to destroy our race. Our sensors detected it will be completed in 30 days. Quick, we must utilise the nearby planets for their conveniently abundant resources. That means people, generally. We must fuel our survival effort. So there you go, that is the premise. This is our mothership. Here you can challenge Christos before his weapon is complete. I've never got to that point where I feel confident enough for the spaceship to be all hip-hop hunky-dory and to be able to take down the big boss man. Just saying, just saying. As well as depart to planets to gather resources. That's what we'll be using a lot of. For now, let's go and get some resources. So, we'll have a, well, we'll have a quick look at, in a second at the ship. But you've got several sections you can uh, you can upgrade. Um, this is how far you can travel. Uh, these are your weapons and shields. Uh, this is your overall health, which is in the top left-hand corner. Uh, this is for the capacity of people you can carry at any one time. And you do have to repair in between each, uh, each uh, little mission as well. And this is where they'll be kept, just down in the corner, just... Hurrying to and forth, waiting for their fate. But I digress. This is where you'll choose your planet you're going to depart to. And as it sounds right now, we can only go to Kimmeridge, which is like the basic planet. And then you've got Allsbrook and Shelley. And they do get a little bit harder. The The enemies don't change, and neither do the people. But there are environmental hazards you need to, uh, you need to take into account. You'll need to upgrade the command centre of our mothership in order to unlock more planets. I've told you that already. For now, let's go to the nearest planet. So we're going to Kimmeridge. Let's go. Right, you've arrived. This one's a Cockney alien. Let's see those delicious humanoids walking about down there. 
Your job is to beam them up by using your tractor beam and then bring them back to the mothership. It looks like the red ones are armed. Also, if you pick up the red ones, they hurt you for one. So that's something you've got to keep in, in mind of. Uh, so I would avoid picking those ones up. Try and grab the blue and gold ones. The gold ones look particularly tasty. I mean, valuable. Once you've collected all you can, Gary, give us a call to pick you up. I'll take a little while for us to get in position, so you'll have to survive until then. Just remember, if your spaceship gets fatally damaged, the resources will escape. So don't get too greedy. If you're in major need of repairs, call for us. Look out for the giant tractor beam. Just fly into it and we'll pick you up. Happy hunting. So there we go. So basic controls. It's all there for you. So WAS and D is your, is your general movement. The controls are a bit floaty. So just take that into consideration. Left click is your, your weapon. Right click is your tractor beam. And then if you're beaming anyone up who you don't want to beam up, uh, you can um, right click whilst they're being beamed up and the tractor beam will be turned off and you'll drop them. Or you can press space if they're already in your UFO and you can eject the last person you collected. But you don't get to choose who you do eject. It is literally the last person you get collected. And then you press E when you start to panic it or you have a full capacity on the UFO. Right, so... That's a shooting, by the way. Oh, lordy. Now, as I said, the... Oh, God. The actual... Um, oh, the movement itself is quite floaty. I'm going to get you. Get away, get away. Oh, lordy. Come now, come now. Now, the only thing I will say about this is if you're playing, it can get you a little bit dizzy. Just something to keep in mind. Gold... Uh, I think we should just grab as many of these as we can. Oh, that's it. We're full. We've got three gold ones, which is good. Okay, we're coming. Hold out a little longer. So I'm just going to fly around. Now, this uh, evacuation ready. And as you can see, you've got a big red arrow at the bottom, which tells you whereabouts on the planet is. It does get a little bit dizzying. I'm going to forewarn you right now. Uh, it's going to get worse before it gets better, that's for sure. Well, after you barely made it back in one piece, I guess I should give you the tour. Let's begin with the command center. If you upgrade here, you'll be able to access more planets. There are better resources to be found out there, so be sure to do this. Here is our combat facility. You can develop new technologies such as shields and bombs, as well as improve your rate of fire with your laser cannon. Next is the engineering section of the mothership. In this section, you can improve the point, hit point of your spaceship. You can also increase the capacity of your spaceship, so that you can bring back more human resources. At the base of the mothership is the repair centre. We will always do basic repairs to your spaceship when you return, but for any further repairs, you have to spend some resources. Hey, don't look at me like that. Be careful that we can do basic repairs. Lastly, this is your resource room. All humans that you have collected will be kept here. Drag them onto a room to extract vital resources from them. Hee <laughs> hee, look at them, so helpless. Uh, sorry, I see you brought some humans back. To use them as a resource, just drag the human into the room you want to spend them on. To use them as a resource, I've said that bit. Let's click. Oh, it's not letting me. Okay, right. <laughs> so, the other thing to keep in mind here is you do only have 30 days. In the top section, the uh, the command center, it does tell you what day you're up to. One thing I learned on my first playthrough is you do need to have everything upgraded by the 30th day and repaired. If you don't have full life, you are going to suffer. But... By the by, the other thing I learned very quickly in this game is you need to get to the second planet as quick as we can. So let's mulch these guys up. So that's all my yellows. So that uh, should be 15 out of 25. And we have got just two left. So we'll put those in. We're okay for health. Three health isn't too bad on the first, on the first planet. So uh, we'll give us another whirl. Bob, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to get you. Oh, I'm, I'm taking out innocent people here. Now, I don't think you can actually uh, destroy... Ooh, take you. Come to me. Uh, I don't think you can destroy the buildings. You can destroy the people and the turrets. The turrets, I believe, take three or four shots. And it does get ho uh, higher depending on the planet you're in. I think the next planet, they actually take five shots to kill. I'll take you guys. Oh. Or not. So five is all we can carry right now. That's fine. Let's uh, 
Let's call in the old UFO mothership. Where are you? Quick, get over here! I'm shaking with anticipation! Uh, you gotta love the Cockney aliens. There we go, and we're off. Right, so, I love this job. <laughs> it takes too much pleasure out of it. Right, so let's uh, pop you in. What else we got here? Another blue there, that's 19. Oh, that's blue. Get out of the way. 20, and then 25, and then once you get to the level you need to get to, you automatically upgrade. So we've now opened up level 2, which means we should be able to go to the second planet. With that in mind, the next thing I found the most handy to upgrade quickly is the uh, capacity, because the more people you can beam up on a go, uh, obviously the more points you can bring back, and the more points you can bring back, the quicker you can upgrade everything else. So uh, we shall move to the second planet, which is Allsbrook. As you can see, it's a little bit more sort of volcano-y, barren, sort of, well, nastier. But the nice thing about this is the people are actually worth more. Let me shoot that guy first. Now, I believe if my memory suits uh, suits me, uh, if my memory serves me correctly, what uh, blues are worth five and yellows are worth ten now. Oh, oh. And there we go, I died. What were you doing out there? We barely managed to rescue you before you were turned into human food. We've repaired your ship to its base level, but any other repairs are going to cost you additional resources. So, as you can see, I died. And when you die, you only get your basic health back, which is three out of the five, and you don't bring anybody back. So if you've got anybody on the ship and you deed, you lose them. So it does... it. Plays well to play it safe at times, but obviously not too safe. You're not restricted on time for how long you spend on the planet, but the longer you're there, the more chance you have of being hit. So, with that being said, let's get back there. We need to uh, try that once more. Oh, look at him flailing his arms. Might take you down. Oh, no, 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 no. And this is where I suffer with the, uh, the W, A, S, and D buttons because. Yes, yes, we're going. When it's floaty, it's hard to go in one direction and up. So if you're obviously if you're nearer the planet, the the quicker that those bullets are going to reach you. Oh no, I was completely off with the, these. So the blues are worth five now, and the yellows are worth twenty five. So it's definitely worth picking up the uh, uh, the uh, yellows when when you can. Let's get some red a little bit though. So we can take. How many is that? Three, six. We can pick up nine now from the five. So we're almost doubling. The output we can we can get on any one go, which is tip top. Tip oh top. Oh no oh, no 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 no. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh that wasn't good. Stop putting holes in my ship. Okay, we'll try that again. I'm gonna stop doing that voice now. It's hurting my voice it's hurting my throat a little. Okay, I, I think you've got the gist of it. Oh no, I didn't mean to kill you. I didn't oh get 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 Pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. Right, I think we better stay up top for a second and just take down as many of these as we can. Let's get some of these turrets down. Thankfully, the lava doesn't... Oh, bollocks. <laughs> yeah, such high hopes for me. And this is where it gets a little bit more difficult. It's risk versus reward, ultimately. Got you, we'll pick you three up. All right, stay up top. Let's try taking out some more of these guys now. Oh, there's a turret there. Didn't see you. Oh, sorry. Sorry. And it's also worth upgrading our bullets. Uh, as you upgrade, they don't get any more powerful. Lordy. They don't get any more powerful, but you can shoot more than one, which uh, generally is a good thing. No, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. Right, so we've got a couple of three pickups here. Uh, no, no, no. They've lost the interest. That's good. That's good for us. Uh, where are all the gold people? Uh, there's a few down there. I've only got one health, so I can't exactly go picking anybody up. Well, so I'd pick up a couple of the soldiers at the same time. I found that is a valid strategy. When you start... No, 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 no. When you start to get all right at this uh, at this game you can if you've got full health you can afford to pick up a couple of soldiers at a time uh, I'm just looking for ones which aren't guarded by anyone 
which I can pick up quick. Let's start taking these guys out. We need to thin the ranks though, I feel. Oh, oh, oh. No. Nope. Oh, rubbish. I picked up that soldier. Didn't mean to. <sighs> Take your time. It's not like a giant weapon of destruction is pointing our way. Yeah, all right. I know the pressure's on. I know the pressure's on. Let's try that again. So, yeah, you've got to be really careful. All right, let's get rid of you. Pick you guys up. That's a good... <gasps> I pressed the wrong button. I didn't mean to drop them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We can afford to pick... You guys up though. Uh, that's fifty. That's fifty odd points. I think we should just call it quits there. That's that's not a bad haul. Christos is coming. Get out of here. Right. So thirty. I really could do with putting our health up. Uh, it doesn't cost too much. So let's pop a couple of those guys in. That opens up two more. Let's work on capacity now. So that's 55, we need 100. So what's that? 80, 85, 90, 95. So we can get 11 now. We've got a little bit more health, which is okay. Let's try that. Back to Wallsbrook. Oh, there's less now. I wonder if it's possible to actually clear out how many people. Oh, don't be nasty. Uh, you yellow people. Oh, run, run, run. I didn't mean to press that. Oh, well. What? Oh, rubbish. Have you tried not getting hit by the red orbs of death? I have. It's, it's more difficult than it looks. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. I'll say that. Right. So, let's, let's try this again. Oh, we've got two again now. Oh, three. You can go, you can go. Right, so that clears you guys. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Go away. Uh, oh, you bastard. Back into the fray. We're just straight back in, straight back in. Right, I've only got the one. Can we take him out? We can. Right, so let's take those. That is an okay start. Any more freebies? We've got two health. So we come down. Oh, you did that hit me, like, for two? I felt like that hit me for two. Right, shoot, shoot you. Shoot you. Shoot you. Get, 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 get. Oh, I've only got one again? I, uh, I definitely need to get my health back. Uh, just anyone. Anyone will do. Anyone who's free. Again, I'm just thinning the ranks right now. Let's change. I think the, the problem is there is a, a, a slowdown in between changing direction. And that, that can be either up and down or left and right, which ultimately makes it a little bit more difficult. Wow, lots of them there. Get rid of you guys. I can't go back with just one. That is such a waste. I'd rather die. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot you. Right, here's a good session. Right, let's grab all of you and call it quits. Run away, run away. Right, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. So, what do we got? 95. So, we just need to pop a bluey into there. Uh, we need to get this health up, so let's pop. It'll be three of those, though, won't it? Yeah, so let's pop you in. Get out of the way. Another blue. Another blue. That takes us up to that. And then if we pop those in, that should give us 25 in there. So we should be able to get four up on that. Nice, right. So. Uh, have we got enough yellows to be able to upgrade that to 15? I don't think we do. Let's put our health up once more. Nice. 
And then I'm guessing we better move to upgrading our energy ball rate. So let's pop that into there. Oh, that's taken us up twice. So what's happened there? Uh, level level two would have been for shields at 25. So we've got an extra energy ball when we shoot, and our sh we've got one shield, which is represented by the yellow square in the top left-hand corner. So we lose that before we start losing health, which is handy, which is handy. And then we've got five left. What should we use it in? Hmm. Let's... Uh... Let's pop it into repair, and then we've got two repairs the next time around. I'm not too fussed about going to the, the last planet, because it is a nightmare to actually survive. I'd rather just fill up on the second for this playthrough. If we're going all right, I might look at doing it right at the end, but uh, I'm quite happy with that. And that's not bad, considering on day 13, so just over a third of the way through, uh, we, we've we've upgraded pretty pretty well. This is the best I've done so far. I, I, I think I'm pretty confident in saying. So, uh, hey ho, who knows? This might be a good run. I'm, I'm guessing we'll see. I'm guessing we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I will catch you on the next one. Take it easy.